Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog, and this is episode 84, and today is uh, today's the day that we had to get a thousand subscribers by uh, in order to stay monetized, uh, which is fine. You know, like I said, when I first heard the news, I kind of freaked out because I, I was like, wait, what's happening to my channel? Um, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get a thousand, you know, in the span of like six weeks. But you guys proved me wrong. And all of you who, who subscribe to this channel for Venom Vlog or for other reasons, if you like previous, you know, shows I've done on here, um, or if you've done, you know, if, if you just came over from Instagram and, you know, heard me on Harmontown or something, like whatever the reason, thank you for being here. Thanks for getting us to a thousand and twenty one subscribers and you know up, up from 641 in just six weeks so thank you guys very much and in that I want to do a video every day for you guys and uh, the video that I was waiting to do because I actually heard about this news almost a week ago and you know obviously I was like biting my tongue because I was like all right well you know I even if I you know have someone telling me something no matter how I reliable I think it is, I still want to like hold off. And uh, plus, obviously, there was like a set date. I thought they weren't announcing this news until Thursday, so I wasn't prepared to make this video today. So I have to do it really quickly before I go to work and try to post it for you guys. Um, but I do want to give a quick update uh, that we have. Uh, I actually got some cool things happened on Instagram where, as you guys know, um, we had some of the actors. Like I tagged uh, Mac Brandt who is playing Jack the bartender. Uh, I tagged him in my post about the video that I made, you know, and that, you know, that I have a theory about maybe Jack the bartender could be the, the comic book fulcrum character. Um, and obviously, uh, you know, a hybrid network picked up on that and they did a great video on it too. So uh, he actually liked the photo which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if he like, you know, it doesn't mean anything. It's just cool that he liked it. Uh, that was awesome. And then Melora Walters, she also liked the fact that I made a video saying, hey, is Melora Walters in Venom and does she have a stunt double? Uh, she actually commented on that uh, post as well. And that, so that was pretty cool. But then something even really cool happened too, is there's actually a cast member from uh, the Venom movie that is now following me and uh and that is really cool because i was like i, I wrote him a, you know a couple times on instagram and uh he plays a character named isaac in the movie so uh, i don't know I, you know isaac doesn't ring any bells as far as uh you know marvel characters goes except maybe like um what's his name isaac christensen i think who was like the gray gargoyle but i i don't know if he's playing the gray gargoyle but his name is jared bankins and he actually commented on a couple things a couple of my video or posts on, on instagram and he started following me. So that's pretty awesome. Like I have a, a actual cast member from the Venom movie following me now, which is super cool. So now I have a very interest, a big interest in the character of Isaac. And uh, if I can find any information that isn't too, too spoiler, uh, spoiler filled for you guys, um, I'll try to find out not from him, obviously, but as I do research and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys those updates and uh, let's get into this video. So this video is basically about the new Venom number one comic book. Like I said, I heard about this coming for about a week now and I wasn't sure I thought it was going to be posted on Thursday but they dropped the bomb on us today Marvel uh, put out this really you know vague video where uh, CB Sobolski was talking about he's like the new editor-in-chief he's a new guy in charge and he's saying like oh um you know, we're releasing a bunch of new books, we're renumbering everything, a lot of things back to number one, we're simplifying, we're condensing, we're focusing, and uh, when I hear things like that, I get a little bit more excited than just, oh, we're relaunching with number one, because Marvel did this like eight months ago, I think, not even, with Marvel Legacy, and they were like, oh, we're going to renumber things, and they made Venom, which made no sense, they made Venom jump to like issue 150, just so they could have an issue 150, and I hate decisions like that, I hate when they do that, because uh, Venom... It doesn't have 150 issues. He has 150 different comics, but it's like the Funeral Pyre Volume One and the Madness Volume One. So you can't add all those as Venom the series. You know, it's like I hate that. It's super nitpicky and stupid. I know, but I, it drove me nuts when they renumbered it. Uh, but uh, it looks like they're going back to number one, which is fine by me because Venom should always have number ones. He should always be written like a TV show uh, where it's like a new episode one, you know, different season, new episode. Uh, so it looks like they're announcing the new Venom series and they dropped this today. Uh, comicbook.com got the exclusive on this. And uh, I'm just going to read some excerpts from this. Uh, Venom is getting a fresh start from Marvel Comics starting in May. Obviously, May is his 30th anniversary. I kind of figured they would do something like this. And then when I heard about this news, I was like, oh, wow, a number one. I thought they were going to do like another event book. I'm kind of glad they're not because they've done so many event books uh, in recent, you know, with Venomverse and then Poison X and all that stuff. So I'm kind of like, all right, good. Just a number one to ease us all in. Perfect jumping on point for new readers, people who haven't read the character in years. 
I'm telling you this will probably be a good point to start at. Uh, but definitely pick up Lethal Protector though, the trade paperback. That is a better place to start. Uh, this May, Marvel Comics will launch Venom number one from Donny Cates, who is the writer of current writer of Doctor Strange and Thanos, which my roommate bought an original page from the Thanos comic, issue 14, where the Celestials like killed every living thing in the universe and Thanos holds up Black Bolt, punches him in the stomach and makes him scream out in pain in order to kill the Celestials. It's an awesome freaking page. It's so cool. And ever since I saw that piece of artwork, I started reading Thanos. Like the first couple issues, I think were a different writer, but Donny Cates came on and I've been loving it. And uh, he's also doing a new uh, Doctor Strange series this week that starts called Damnation, number one. So make sure you go pick that up. Uh, he's going to introduce the new Midnight Suns, which includes the Scarlet Spider on the team, who I'm so excited about. And they're all teaming up to fight the devil in Las Vegas. I mean, come on. How epic and cool is that? <laughs> so this guy who wrote Thanos, you know, wiping out the Celestials, who is writing Doctor Strange fighting the devil with a bunch of superheroes, he is going to be jumping on Venom now with Ryan Stegman, who is from Amazing Spider-Man, and he also drew Scarlet Spider uh, a couple years ago uh, and in Uncanny Avengers. Uh, he also did, I think, uh, Venom Incorporated, like the, the Omega and Alpha issues, I believe. Um, so they said here, Eddie Brock has recently been protecting the streets of New York City with this new series seeing Venom tasked with taking on a 1,000-year-old primordial threat. Um, it's unlike, uh, here's a quote from, uh, from Ryan Stegman, it's unlike any foe Eddie or the symbiote has ever faced. Uh, says Stegman tells comicbook.com of this emerging evil. It's something that's incredibly old and unbelievably powerful with ties not only to the symbiote's dark past, but the Marvel Universe itself. This is a horror story thousands of years in the making. So it, it's clear to me that they're going to try to redefine the book maybe with some superhero elements, but redefine it more of a horror story, which is great because that's the tone the movie's going for. And I think this is great, you know, uh, addition, mar additional marketing for the movie to get people in the headspace of the film uh, and maybe not treat the film as like a superhero movie, but as like a Jekyll and Hyde horror story, sci-fi thriller. Um, and I think that's the tone the movie's going for. Or that's what Ruben Fleischer says. And it sounds like that's what we're going to, we might be getting for here. Uh, Ryan Segman does say that, that being said, this is a story that you can jump right into with the first issue. We lay the groundwork for everything. If you've ever wanted to come read about Eddie Brock and his handsome fanged friend, Venom number one in May is the perfect jumping on point. So that is pretty cool. Uh, you could see probably I've had the cover up here for a second uh, with him standing behind like this gargoyle, like just, ah, like just super epic. Um, yeah, I really like that cover. And uh, I'll, I'll link if you want to read the full article, I'll link it down below because I don't want to make like a 20 minute video on this. Uh, but Ryan Stegman talks about how he's looking forward to drawing this. He really wants to do the teeth, the venom teeth. He's like super excited about that. Um, and uh, and he uh, also the, the writer, Donny Cates, has, says something along the lines of him, uh, you know, being this being one of the most epic things he's ever written. And what's crazy about that is, uh, he, like I said, Thanos, like that was a super epic moment. Uh, what he's about to do with uh, Doctor Strange with Damnation, the miniseries, that sounds really epic. So for him to say that this is epic is crazy. And it says, it sounds like he has a long plan for this. Um, he says, Ryan and I are currently are certainly amping things up here, Kate says. Venom is a character that I've been wanting to write since I was nine years old, and this is my opportunity to really sit down on a title and tell an enormous story. So it sounds like he has a plan. I guess they're going to pick up some of the threads from the uh, current run that uh, that uh, Mike Acosta is doing, and it's a, you know basically about like the symbiote hiding a secret, which we learned in issue 161. It sounds like that standalone issue was a setup to possibly where the story is going to go now. So uh, you know, on one level, I kind of like ah, I wish I mean, Mike Acosta maybe finished that story, but maybe it wasn't a story that he wanted to tell. Maybe it, this was the plan all along. And I like Mike Acosta, he's a good good writer, but the book is is hit or miss for me, a lot more miss though uh, than hit. And uh, and I think Donny Cates is probably bringing him in, you know, being one of the newer writers at Marvel, at least newer to me that I've never heard of until recently. Um, it's It seems like this is a good move. And it sounds like he has a lot of fresh ideas and it sounds like he's a big fan of the character, which is awesome. Um, this is the biggest, most ambitious thing I've ever attempted for sure, Kate says. It's, uh, it's such an incredible honor to be steering the Venom ship during this amazing time in the character's life. With the 30th anniversary and the movie this year, we certainly wanted to shoot for the moon here. The ramifications of the Venom title will be felt line-wide in the months and years to come. Uh, if y'all thought Thanos and Strange were insane, well, strap in because you ain't seen nothing yet. 
Venom number one goes on sale in May, written by Donny Cates, pencils and covers by Ryan Stegman, of Venom Nightmare 1000 Years in the Making. Uh, in the wake, uh, here's the official synopsis. In the wake of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s collapse, uh, an ancient and primordial evil has been awakened beneath the streets of New York. And with it, something equally evil has awakened in, what, uh, in that most wicked of web slingers, which is Venom. Still a lethal protector of the innocents in New York, this never-before-seen threat could force Venom to relinquish everything it holds dear, including Eddie Brock. Join two of the hottest creators in comics today, Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman, for a Venom adventure a thousand years in the making. So, what do you guys think of that? I can't, I can't sum it up better than that. That synopsis was great. Shields collapse. That's pretty interesting, and uh, and no one to protect. Uh, and it looks like they're dropping down to one Avengers book during this fresh start that Marvel's starting, which I also think is good. I've been saying that for years. Simplify, condense. One Spider-Man book, one Captain America book, one you know Avengers book. Like just keep it simple, because then the stakes feel high. Everything feels important when you don't overpopulate things. If you want to do like X-Men with a couple, like two or three different titles, because there's so many characters, sure. But just make them go in different directions and have different points of view and stuff. Um, but this this sounds good, and I'm really digging on this, and I'm excited for Donny Cates to jump on this book. Like I said, he's new to me, but already he's impressed me with his stuff and at least his ideas. So I can't wait to see what his ideas bring to the table of Venom. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.